Hey, hello, this is uh, Dennis Bingham, and I'm uh, in Catfish Brewery as we speak right now. I just want to share with you uh, one of my projects, um, building basically a stir plate. And I got some great ideas from YouTube, so thank you everybody for, um, you know, putting your version of a uh, stir plate, and um, it definitely helped me with my little project. You know, the reason I wanted to build a stir plate is probably like some of you looking at this video or looking at other, other people's videos is because of the price you know uh, stir plates can go from anywhere from 39 up uh, for a decent stir plate and I found this is just this works sufficient it's 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 uh, works well and um, you don't have to pay a um, high dollar sticker price to um, build yourself a stir plate uh, but real quick here cigar box um, my old Baccarat uh, Rothschild box that, that I've had for the last 15-20 oh, years so it's coming in handy on uh, the left side, um, you'll see of this box is just a three-prong, a uh, three-prong toggle switch, and it's got a little LED light on it. This is a rheostat right here, which is going to control your speed. And uh, on the left-hand side, you see an AC/DC, and this is a 9.5 volt. And I found this to work really well. Um, if I put a 12 volt or a 9 volt on there, um, you know, if you want your stir plate, if if you want it to go a little bit slower. Uh, you're not able to do so with the higher voltage, so I found this to work pretty well, and, and, and you know, 9 volt will still work, and if you even wanted to go lower than 7.5, it would probably work too as well. Uh, just take a look at the inside. Um, this is basically what the inside looks like. Um, I did bolt everything to the bottom. Um, I just didn't want to have the bolts on top, and you can basically mount it on top. It's just as easy to as well, um, but I decided to go ahead and do it on the bottom. Um, you, you see the wiring on the left hand side and you see the wiring on the right hand side to the rheostat again left side you got the toggle switch uh, the second part of the video is basically to kind of show you the wiring that was the one thing I did not find on YouTube is really how to set one of these things up and I'm not an electrician so um, that's that's what my stir plate looks like and uh, follow here I'll basically or following uh, this introduction, I'll be taking the fan off and just showing you in detail where to um, to wire everything. Okay, thanks. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, as you can see now, my fan is now out of place, and you can actually see my wires uh, going into the actual box itself. And I hope this helps somebody uh, down the road. I know um, this probably would have helped me. I did see a couple of videos on there. I, I know in the first part I said I didn't see any, but I just couldn't quite see where the the um, the wires are going so hopefully again this will help somebody um, by now um, you've already probably cut the end of your AC DC adapter uh, and you split your two wires you're gonna have one it's gonna be a hot wire one's gonna be now a, um, a ground and you can put them anywhere in your box that you want to um, as you can see by mine those black wires are going to the uh, back of the box it would be your back left side of my box going up to the toggle switch and the way you know you got a hot wire uh, which one's hot and which one's not. I'm not sure if I can focus it in there, but you can see on that top wire there to the right, you're going to see some white lettering. Now, that is your hot wire. The other one is going to be your ground. Now, sometimes it, you don't have writing on there. Sometimes you'll have like a solid white line. That would be your hot wire, okay? So, on my uh, my components here, again, these were all by, at Radio Shack, all $2.99 a piece. Um, but the toggle switch with the LED light that's in the top left corner here, um, it has three posts. Um, if you look on the back of the posts, you'll see a one, two, and a three. Your number one is your hot wire. That's where your hot wire from your AC-DC adapter is going to go to. And that's the only um, thing that's going to go on that post, okay? So um, you're good there. Now, the second wire that you see is a center post right there. It says number two on it, and what that does is when you turn on your toggle switch, your LED light goes on, it actually contacts power, or power now is being driven to um, to your other components, such as what I have in here is the rheostat, and the rheostat's going to go to the fan. So, again, you turn it on, and then everything else works thereafter. So, that center post, you see that red wire, uh, which is this wire right here, that just runs to the center post, um, of your toggle switch to the center post of your rheostat. There's, there's three um, actual posts. There's one down here, there's one in the center, and then there's one on the left-hand side. So just run it center. So the best way to explain it is to center to center. 
and now you have now you're gonna have power going over to that rheostat and then from there um, to go to your fan is um, the easiest way to figure this out I have both of these posts or all three of these posts facing straight up so it's gonna be the post to your left okay so however you want to run it in your box whether you need to turn it upside down or whatever the case may be face them all three straight up and then use that left post and that's the wire that actually goes over to your fan okay so that's your power wire to your fan now you're gonna have uh, two more wires to hook up one's gonna be the negative from your AC DC adapter and um, also the negative wire that comes out of your fan and both of those go to that third post which is the very top right here so you see those two wires that are actually joining right there and they go to that third post okay so that's the easiest way I can explain it um, hopefully this again helps somebody um, again I, I just run these four posts here to, to raise my fan to make sure it's you know about a quarter of an inch from underneath the uh, the uh, the box and that was really important too I had it lower at first about an inch and a half inch and then I went to a quarter uh, probably a half an inch and I was throwing my weight it wasn't holding inside my my um, my flask so I got to about a quarter of an inch and uh, now it's uh, it runs beautifully so um, let me just get my fan here and as you can see I have my magnet just uh, glued right at the very top and it, it uh, works extremely well so anyway I'll um, I'll go ahead and run a quick clip on uh, how it actually works, and then uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. All and again, right, let's, any let's check it out. There you go. Hey, good luck all.